Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called The Banker from 1989, a cover feature. Uh, <coughs> that's about as new and enjoyable as watching Keaton's Cop starring Lee Majors. <laughs> well, I guess uh, since I don't know the actors uh, or the director, I guess I'll start out with um, what I liked about it. Uh, first thing, there are a couple good one-liners. Uh, for instance, Dan the Cops says a couple times. Uh, first, he says, "That's one child charbroiled pimp, charbroiled pimp." Uh, he says, "That's one charbroiled pimp." Sorry, that's a that's a uh, tongue twister. And then we've got uh, at the end, he says. My name is Dan. I'm a cop, and you're fucked. And he starts blasting his gun. So those were, those were pretty good one-liners. And um, well, I guess in the case of the ending, it was three lines, but still, funny stuff. Um, another thing I liked about it was the uh, was the babe in the beginning with the fake boobs and the big black nipples. She was hot. Um, Third thing I liked about it was the uh, police corruption. Um, basically, the cop uh, kisses the mayor's butt, pretty much. I mean, the cop's boss does. So, um, even though it looks like the murderer is an investment banker, um, the police chief dude doesn't want to go after him because he's a big campaign contributor or whatever. Um, so there's that. Um, other than that, the movie sucked. Um, it was hard to watch. I thought it was boring. And, uh, the music sucked. The acting sucked. Um, the plot sucked. Um, what really irritated me was the, the cop's attitude towards investment bankers in general. He said they were all bloodsuckers. That made me that kind of pissed me off because um, I wanted to be an investment banker in 1989 when this movie came out. So, um, so yeah, so it's all part of that stupid um, greed is good propaganda bullshit from the movies uh, during that time. Um, yeah, I didn't like it, but um, and there's another scene where they, uh, where the cop and the news reporter get a hot dog, and um, the news reporter gives the hot dog away to uh, an old lady. Uh, that was kind of dumb. Um, so this is about an investment banker who um, it goes around shooting people with a crossbow. He prefers to shoot women because it uh, proves that he, he's uh, his domination over women or whatever. Just like he uh, dominates his business partners. Kind of stupid concept, but um, that part didn't bother me that much. Um, he likes to uh, kill hookers with his crossbow. Um, the hookers aren't that good looking, except for the one in the beginning, as I mentioned. Um, so there's that. And uh, the cops trying to investigate who did it, who done it. Uh, they can't find the criminal. They're like Keystone cops. So they never guessed that it was an investment banker. Duh. Anyway. Um, Meanwhile, there's a news reporter who's very opportunistic, I guess you could say, a uh, lady news reporter. She goes on the news and she said, she complains, why, why are we talking about stuff that isn't important? Aren't human lives more important? Something like that. And then uh, the investment banker killer dude is watching her the whole time. He's into some kind of weird South American cult, pagan cult, that involves hunting and shooting women with a crossbow, and then inscribing a weird symbol 
<laughs> so there's that. They call him Tarzan, and uh, he decides to. Tarzan decides to uh, buy up the the uh, television station because he loves all the free publicity that he's getting, and um, that's how the news reporter gets promoted. She gets her own office, and uh, and the ratings go up. That part was pretty cool, but I gave this one two stars. Uh, I didn't like it that much. There's there was um, there was some conflict between the cop Dan and the news reporter, or whatever her name is. Um, I guess like Keaton's cop, they were married at some time, and he was up in a treehouse. I didn't, I couldn't really follow that. Um, and then. Um, I guess uh, her mother took took the dog or something. I, I, I couldn't really follow their relationship at all. But um, later on, they're able to reconcile, and it irritated me that the cop got the uh, news reporter to shut up. Like she couldn't exercise her First Amendment rights because the um, the dead hooker victims in the morgue couldn't exercise their rights. So. So there's that, and um, yeah, not a good movie. I, I wouldn't recommend it. But um, anyway, on to Barracuda later.